everybody it's me Lisa welcome to my channel I hope everyone is doing well I hope you enjoy this video it is a haul not too big but a haul um, and I'm sitting here in my craft room watching the snow out the window and I went down to get uh, went out to get um, soda from McDonald's this morning that's my thing it's my caffeine um, and there were six deer crossing the road at the end of my street. There's a really small um, woods and they go back and forth there and they cross the road in front of my car. And you know, I had stopped and everything. And it just reminded me that, you know, a couple weeks ago, uh, my dogs kept barking and barking and they wouldn't stop. And I thought, well, that's too long for you know them to still be barking at a dog that passed by. So I got up and looked out the window and there's a deer standing in my front yard, a buck with, you know, antlers and the whole nine yards. And I went out there to take a picture of him and I kept thinking, oh, I better take it. I better take it. If I keep trying to get closer, you know, he's going to run off. He didn't go anywhere. And I was petting him and taking his pictures. And um, then I started, he started walking across the street and I noticed he had a slight wobble to him. And I was still petting him. I had gone inside and gotten a carrot and gave it to him, but he didn't, he didn't want it. He sniffed it, didn't want it. And then he started bumping into people's mailboxes and, you know, kind of uh, falling over in people's driveways. And I got really concerned. So I called the, um, the animal control. And don't you know, I guess during COVID, they just don't answer their phones. There's a recording. They're not answering their phones. So I didn't know what to do. And finally, you know, somebody drove by and, you know, one of my neighbors and said, girl, I can't believe you're petting that deer. Are you crazy? <laughs> Never approach wild animals. Well, that's not going to be me. Me and animals are conjoined at the hip and just not going to happen with me. I'm going to do what I can to help it. So it went into one man's driveway across the street from me and it banged into his garage door and then it fell to the ground and couldn't get back up. Uh, it did eventually get back up, but I had called the police and they said they would send someone out. So, you know, I'm thinking a police cruiser is going to come out here and see a deer. What good is that going to do? But they sent police um, wildlife resources, I guess it said on the truck. And by then he had gone up the street another way and I was following him and the man whose garage he bumped into was looking out the window down like did somebody throw a package against my garage and he lifted the window and I said there's a deer and he said where and I said right here your garage door so he had come out and he was you know we were tracking the deer I was following it because I wanted to be able to point it out to officers if it got you know too far away or something so it went two houses down from me on my side of the street and collapsed into a window well um, broke the plastic cover that people put over those and was kind of stuck in there for a minute or two and then it got out um, stumbling around and finally the resource source officer shows up you know in full what do you call that camo um, gear and he said you know I'm gonna have to shoot it and um, I said I know and uh, he said, if you, you know, you don't want to be around for that, you might want, to go in, might want to go in your house. And I just couldn't do it. You know, I just couldn't. I mean, I wanted him to know that someone that really loved him was there when he passed. So, you know, I don't, people say, oh, you're crazy. And he didn't even notice that. Well, that's not how I believe. Um, I had shown him love and um, I think he knew that I was there. So when they put him down, you know, I just uh, went home after that so um sad story but it was suffering it clearly had either been hit by a car or it had uh some kind of disease um that was affecting it and um, it was very thin deer um so yeah something was definitely not right and you know in case it was some kind of disease and i was petting and i went home and scrubbed up of course but you know, I just, sad story. They, they live right down the street from me and they often, you know, will travel up and down. But the first time one appeared in my yard and stayed there. Usually when one appears in my yard, I open the front door before I can even get my camera out, they run. <laughs> but this one stayed because it wasn't feeling well, obviously. 
So I have some things today from Tuesday morning and Target. I think that's all. Oh, I do have these three pieces of fabric that I got at Walmart. Um, these were, I think, either 99 cents or $1.47. I can't remember, but dog fabric. Like in Valentine colors, the bones. And miscellaneous paw prints and hearts. So I got those. Um, that's the only thing from Walmart. Okay, Hazel, we all know you're there. Silly girl. Okay, I don't have very much from Target. No, not very much from any store, actually. But I'll show it anyway, right? So from Target, I got these little pet erasers. It's little dogs and cats. These were in the dollar spot. You get 30 for a dollar. And then I got this one, Critter Erasers. And this is bugs and butterflies and things like that. So I got those. And one of the reasons I got those is to send some to my friend Joyce. She likes using those on her uh, journal chains. I found these 294 stickers um i think this was three dollar 350 um you get 28 sheets they're really small but you can see they have deer polar bears things and then dogs and cats yep and a little pig so these are little little tear off sheets and i i like to tuck these in happy mail and in cards that i send people so i got those i got this spritz glitter shakers for five dollars and they're in kind of valentine mood and this second one i'm sure you can't see it but it's little heart shaped ones um you know i i hemmed and hawed about getting this because in the regular this was in the valentine section in the regular craft section for fifteen dollars i think you got yeah you got 18 containers of glitter so it was, you know, hands down a better deal than four of them for $5. But I just loved the these two colors, and I love the silver. I'm not such a gold person, but I do use it sometimes. So the I was hung up on this, and I had to get this, even though I could have got a better deal and got a lot more. Maybe next time. Oh, the last thing I got from Target was this pouch, and I've already started playing with it. Um... It's got a little rainbow thing. So this is what I saw on the shelf and immediately grabbed it and said, I'm getting that. That's me for sure. Um, but it wasn't until I got it out to my car and opened my bag and started looking that on the other side, it's a shaker. There are all kinds of little hearts in there. It's so cute. I didn't even know that. So I love that. I'm gonna put some, I think my watercolor brush pens will fit in there. Okay, so that's it for Target. And then Tuesday morning, well, everybody knows me and lemons if you've been watching it for any length of time. So Lemon Kitchen Towels by Cuisinart. These are my favorite kitchen towels. I have several sets by Cuisinart. They, what I like about them, not only are they a quality towel, but they are larger than standard kitchen towels. Um, like two or three inches longer and two inches wider. So. I like a generous size kitchen towel, so I love these. Got that. And, you know, in honor of my daughter with the whole bunny theme, I got this set as well. They had several different colors of the bunny ones, but this is the one that she would have liked best, and this is the one I think goes with my kitchen the best. So, yeah, they're Easter looking, springy looking, but, you know, I'll use them year round in honor of her, and it'll make me, you know happy so that's it for that and then i got these Rhea reese alcohol markers and i have another set of alcohol markers that i really haven't used too much um but i do like them i just haven't been doing that kind of art that much but i started using them in my other journal my one that i write and decorate 
And um, I really wanted to try these. And as far as markers go, you know, it, you can't have too many in my mind because you use them up, they dry out, and you throw them away. And you have to replace them anyway. So here's the colors that you get. 24. And this was $19.99. Alcohol markers are very expensive in um, stores and even online. You look on Amazon, they are very expensive. But... Um, I got lucky, found these for 20 bucks. So those, especially I like those to color in um, stamps. Like I have a hundred, literally a hundred and something, or maybe it's close to a hundred. I, I had written them down, all the house mouth stamps that I had. And um, I love to, to print, you know, stamp those out and color those in in my journals. Uh, the next thing that I got was this springtime bow bunny, it's called Harmony Stamp. Um, I was thinking I might put this in my next giveaway. Uh, there's a dragonfly under the price sticker you can't really see. Um, this was $2.99 and 20% off, not a big deal. You know, I got 60 cents off of that. But it says, springtime, you make my heart sing, and lovely are the sentiments on there. So I now have a couple of things lined up for my next giveaway. And I'm stick it on the side. I've got another pack of these paint brushes that I love. Um... $3.99. This one is, they're all the same size. And you get four. And then just two more things. And I think that's it. Yeah, that's it. So I found these paper packs. It's called Mega Bundle by Echo Park. And they're $14.99, um, which is expensive for a paper pack. I mean, even paper pads, I don't pay that much for. They have a lot of paper in them. But the, this has um, 12 12 by 12 double sided papers and six 12 by 12 double sided solids and then two ephemera die cut sheets. So this one is called Summer. I don't have things to decorate a summer journal. I really don't. Um, I have very little. So this is what you get these are the you know, the sticker sheets or whatever the ephemera sheets there's one on the back that you can see so I really like that I thought you know finally have something for summer and this one same price uh, well that they both say over 150 pieces now they're counting each sticker too so this one is let it snow and I don't have anything really. I had like one little pad of paper that was winter that is not Christmas themed. All the other winter things I have say Christmas stuff on them and I don't want that. I just wanted winter theme. Um, and this one, you know, has mittens, cozy, warm winter, snow angels written on one of the piece papers. And again, 12 printed sheets, 12 solid sheets, two sheets of die cut ephemera. And these are some of the ones that you get. So now I have something for winter that doesn't have anything to do with Christmas. Um, cold hands, warm hearts. Cold weather brings family and friends together. I just really like this. So, snow days, when I was teaching Aubrey teacher in the building was for those snow days. You might have to grade papers at home, but at least you didn't have to go to work. <laughs> oh, oh, this one other thing I forgot that I got from Target. It was underneath something. I got this spritz pack, $5 of stickers. And um, you get the silver and the pink and the red on the front that are glittery. Like, I think they're like foam stickers. Then you get the bugs. Yeah, it's, well, it's bugs and animals. You can't really see. There's two sheets tucked in there. And then these gems in different sizes and color hearts on that page. And then last but not least, you get these hearts. 
so for five dollars I mean I thought it was okay of, okay of a deal so I'm excited about using those in my projects and that is it everybody and um, hope you're staying safe with the COVID and with the crazy winter snowstorm and thanks for watching hope you'll click like and subscribe if you enjoyed my video and I'll see you again next time. Bye, everybody.